Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the top 10 skins that have a chance to come into the game in season three. These are just some DC skins that I think could come into the game, assuming that the whole Aquaman being the secret battle pass skin rumor is true. So up first, we have the wild card picks, and that is Gorilla Grodd and King Shark. I think that these two characters are going to be heavier skins if they are introduced into the game and i think there is a possibility of them coming into the game at some point if all the rumors are true and i think this would actually be really cool if anything i think king shark probably has a higher chance than grod but nonetheless i think these are two skins that could completely come in they could have additional styles and it could really work for the game and the honorable mention that i have for this list is lex luther only because i can't see epic making lex a skin just because he's just a bald guy in a suit unless you put him in his mech suit so if they put lex in the mech suit i could totally see them making him have a skin maybe even different versions of the mech suit similar to injustice i think that would be really cool if they wanted to add that skin into the game but let's get into the top 10. at our number 10 spot we have deathstroke now i feel like deathstroke has a chance to come into the game just because it would be really cool to have the opposite of Deadpool, who is Wade Wilson, and Deathstroke is Slade Wilson. It'd be really cool to have those two opposites in the game, especially because Deadpool is actually based off of Deathstroke. Only some people know that, and I think it would be a really cool skin. There's definitely many iterations of Deathstroke throughout the years in movies, in television, in the comics. So they could definitely change up the costume a little bit each time. Could definitely have additional styles for this guy at our number nine spot we have red hood jason todd and i do feel that again he has a chance to come into the game but i didn't rank him high up on my list just because overall i think the red hood design is pretty bland in most aspects but there are some iterations where the costume just looks phenomenal and I think it does have a pretty good chance of coming into the game, especially because we already have Batman, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and those are all characters that Jason Todd, Red Hood, would actually have interacted with in the comics. So I can completely see him being put into the game. And at our number eight spot, we have, of course, Joker. Now, Joker is actually kind of far back on my list just because he's been in so many other games. I can't see them doing something completely crazy. He's been in Injustice. He's been in Mortal Kombat. He's made appearances in all these other video games. So I feel like, if anything, Joker has a high chance to be in here, but I would like to see some other skins over him that we might have not seen in other games. At our number seven spot, we have Captain Cold and or Mr. Freeze. And I only put these two together because they are very similar to characters, however, very different designs. And I think that it would work in the game mode if they were to go ahead and reintroduce Gotham City into the game. I think of course Mr. Freeze would work. If not, both designs are unique to the character and you would definitely be able to tell which one is which of course. And they could reintroduce the Chiller Grenades and the Chiller Trap as well. And I think it would work very well with the current map and the current status of Fortnite. At our number six spot, we have Black Manta, who, of course, is one of the many rivals of Aquaman. So assuming that Aquaman is the secret battle pass skin, it's not too far fetched to say that Black Manta could come into the game, especially because his outfit itself just looks very cartoonish. And I think he would make a great addition to Fortnite if they wanted to add his character or if they could. Coming in at our number five spot, we have Deadshot. And personally, I just feel that his style really fits Fortnite. He's a character that I've loved. So of course I would love to see him get put into the game. And honestly, it would not surprise me if they added more members of the Suicide Squad, like Captain Boomerang or some other members since there have been so many members of the Suicide Squad throughout the years, similar to how they did the X-Force style skins. Coming in at our number four spot, we have Rorschach. Now, Rorschach is from the Watchmen universe. DC does own them. If you guys haven't read Watchmen, the graphic novel, I strongly suggest you go ahead and give it a read. It is phenomenal. And if you don't have time to read it, just go ahead and watch the movie. It's directed by Zack Snyder. There's a director's cut. It's like two to three hours long. It's a phenomenal movie. And Rorschach is just a character that I can completely see them doing since his face is always changing. It could be different styles or maybe it changes based off of kills. 
it's just such a skin that I think fits the Fortnite aesthetic right now. And I would really love to see Rorschach in there, especially because he's one of my favorite characters. I think anybody who has read or seen Watchmen would agree that he is easily the best part of it. Moving into the top three, at our number three spot, we have Green Lantern. Now, there have been plenty of Green Lanterns throughout history. We could go get Kilowog. We could get Kyle Rayner. But I personally would love to see Jessica Cruz come into the game. I think her style for Green Lantern is very unique. It's very different from all the other Green Lanterns. And I think, personally, it would work in the game, especially if they did a Green Lantern camo wrap for your guns where it kind of looks like the ring is actually projecting the gun i think that would be so cool and so epic and if they could pull it off it would be amazing coming in at our number two spot we have possible wonder woman 84 skins and the only reason why i say this is because season three got pushed back to june and of course even if season three hadn't it would have been occurring during june which is when wonder woman 84 was initially set to release they then went ahead and set it back towards august which is probably when season three will be winding down coming to its end and i think it would be really cool if the wonder woman 84 skins were to come out around the time that you would unlock the aquaman skin it would make a lot of sense to me whether it be the wonder woman armor just regular whether it's the wonder woman golden eagle armor or even cheetah or maxwell lord any character from this movie could be put into the game and i think just for that reason alone, that's why I kind of ranked it all the way up here at the number two spot. I really am hoping that they can pull something off for the movie. We've already seen them do Batman stuff for Batman's 80th anniversary. We've seen them do Harley Quinn stuff for Birds of Prey, which is still a phenomenal movie in my opinion. So I can't imagine what they're going to pull off for Wonder Woman if they go ahead and do anything at all. And finally, at our number one spot, we have Cyborg. And I think Cyborg is a great character. If you guys have seen Titans or Justice League, Cyborg is a highlight in both of those, of course. And I really think that with his armor that changes throughout the years, he could be a shining star skin in this game. I think his skin would really work. You could have a bunch of different styles. And I think the community would really enjoy a skin as unique as Cyborg. And with that, I'm going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what skin you guys want to see in the comment section down below. Remember to leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video. And subscribe if you guys are new and want to see more content. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with this gameplay. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.